Zones provide a layer of structure to your warehouse. They allow you to separate areas of your warehouse. You can create as many zones as you'd like in InfoPlus, but only the zones that contain locations will be referenced by InfoPlus for material handling. For example, you can direct pick work by zone by grouping the pick list report by zone. This is done during fulfillment of orders. Zones can also be used to define areas of your warehouse on location address labels. For our example warehouse, we will create three zones, one to hold the forward locations, one to hold all storage locations, and one to hold the cold room locations. To create zones, click the Warehouse Operations tab, the Warehouse Setup app, and then the Zone table. And as always, you can use the dot on your keyboard and jump to the Zone table that way. Click Create New. The warehouse in our example is Test Warehouse 1. Give the zone a name. Again, I'll create the forward zone, so I'll simply call it forward. I'll give it an address of F. This address can be used in location labels if needed. And the remaining fields are true-false fields. These do not control operations in InfoPlus, but they provide identification information about zones for reference. Select True to indicate that a zone is climate controlled, requires food grading for inspection or sorting purposes, is secure, frozen, or refrigerated. This forward zone is none of these, so I can either select False or I can just leave it blank. The only required fields are those with the red asterisk, but you can fill in other fields as needed. Click Save to save the record. We've got one zone created. I'll create the storage zone with an address of S. And I'll create the cold room zone. For this one, I'll indicate that it is refrigerated. Again, this is just for reference about the zone. If I return to the zone table, I can see all of the zones that I just created. If you need to edit a zone, simply open the record and select Actions Edit. So those are all the zones we will create for our warehouse. These zones again provide identification purposes and can be used in location labels. Continue through this video series for steps on creating other areas of your warehouse.